Hi, SuperSpruce here, back with another Internet Dimension 3 Minus Minus video, episode 20. Yes, we've made it to 20 episodes on this series. This is the third, no, uh, yeah, third series to make it to 20 episodes. So, that's uh, uh, sort of exciting here. And I can get all the way up to AJ. And actually, if I if I get the Galactic Sacrifice, I can get even, even more than this. So, as before, we... Have gone to infinite replicanti, or yeah, that infinite. I, I just mean E three oh eight replicanti. It's not actually infinite. Like you can see, this is just one point seven nine point seven seven, which, which essentially like the E three oh eight thing. So, so it looks like I, I can get no more than this. It only gave me about a twenty five percent boost to my infinity points, but that's still a decent boost to my infinity points. And I think it's, and it's actually just enough to get the max replicated galaxies to one. It's interesting how the galaxies are so strong. It's probably because they affect infinity dimension instead of just this multiplier. I mean, also, it's reducing the tick interval. I'm, I, 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 for, I forgot what everything even does at this point. Like, I, where, where does it even... You know, also, more infinity points. That's, that, that's probably the most overpowered thing. And just, like, I don't even see where the galaxies um, actually reduce the tick interval. Maybe that's even a bug. I'm, I'm not sure. But when, anyway... We're just gonna do this, and this allows me to get max replicated galaxies to one. So you're gonna see how that works. I can also get this, so it's only gonna take four hours to get to infinite replicanti. It's pretty nice. You can also get um, a bunch of these doublers as well, and then of course every all of the infinity dimension stuff. So that's all I can do here, and still going to take a while. I'm really just going to need to get up to infinite replicanti. Maybe we can check out what a replicanti galaxy does. So I know what it does because, you know, it's, it's, it's a main, it's a vanilla game feature, but there, there may be some parts, like it may be buffed because one galaxy in exchange for all your replicanti, or yeah, I'm already explaining how it does it. You know, if you, if you've done the main game, um, you, you know what a replica, you, you know what a replicanti galaxy is. So, I mean, I, I assume you've watched or played the main game if you're watching this. Cause, you know, new game minus and minus. So, yeah, well, anyway, we'll just see what it does. Like, well, what it does in action instead of just by words when we actually get there. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back, um, a lot later, later than I... Like multiple days instead of four hours. We can we can get this doubler, which is which is nice. But anyway, we are up to infinite replicanti, and this time we can get a replicated galaxy, replicanti galaxy. I just call them replicated galaxies. And so it's it's interesting how replicated galaxies work. Um, they reset the replicanti amount for a galaxy. And it usually it does usually boost the infinity points, but I'm I feel like I don't know why I'm just a little bit skeptical about it, even though I know that it does this in the main game. Like I'm a little skeptical about if it's gonna actually do anything. So I mean I I think it will. It's probably just me I'm not realizing. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but or, I don't know. It's just me. Probably it's not it's not the game, and yeah it's got some galaxy points and let's do this. So the thing is it does gonna, it is gonna reset my replicanti, or um which means um the infinity dimensions are not doing anything at this point. But the galaxy is powerful enough to get me more. Look at this. I think I was at A L and I'm now at A M. So, and I we can go all the way up to A T here. So, or no, B T, not A T. It's yeah, cancer notation is weird. I and you you'll notice that on antimatter galaxies it says like this plus that the the thing after the plus is the replicated galaxies. So, yeah, that's what that. Yeah, that's yeah. So that means the total number of galaxies isn't one twenty nine. It's one hundred thirty. So it does help me a little bit. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get this. Turns out I can't even get any more of these replicani upgrades, which is really annoying. 
actually, but whatever. I can't get any Brick Infinity upgrades. It's just um, doublers and Infinity Dimension upgrades. And there's a decent amount of them, but yeah, there is a good amount of them. So I think that will help me, but again, it's just going to be a little bit slow. Because, you know, it's, I'm just going to have to... Essentially, the runs are just going to start looking like this. They're going to... They're all going to be long runs that I'm going to need to get infinite replicating and then a replicated galaxy. And and that will be the run. And Galactic Sacrifice will help a little bit. It doesn't even help that much, but whatever. It'll help a little bit. I don't even know how many infinity points this translates to. I think it's somewhere like E120. And of course, there's this challenge. I forgot about the challenge. There's three of them. This is Infinity Challenge. This, these are just the vanilla ones. This is Infinity Challenge Four. This is Infinity Challenge Five. This is Infinity Challenge Six. I feel like I should do Infinity Challenge Four at this point. Yeah, let's start this Infinity Challenge. But before I start, I need to actually change the auto buyers because um, Infinity Challenge Four is interesting in how it works. Basically, you, you can have you can have your tick speed auto buyer. You can have the sacrifice auto buyer. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I think I should have sacrificed. And I can have the dimension boost and the galaxies. I may turn off the dimension boosts just um, so I can have a little more control over it. But you have to turn off these these auto buyers, the first or seventh. That's the most efficient strategy for Infinity Challenge Four. Or no, I, it's okay. It's Infinity Challenge Six here, but this is the exact same as vanilla Infinity Challenge Four. So. Looks like you do have to do this again. So I'm just using the hotkeys. Um, it's actually really annoying. And you can only get one galaxy at a time. You can't bulk them. This is going to look really annoying. I I'm def I definitely need to um, turn this back on. Um, it doesn't even do it automatically. What if I, what if I just do one? Yeah, that, that works. Um... Yeah, this is, this is this is gonna take a while to get all these galaxies. Oh man, I'm just gonna cut this part out. Wow, I literally found out a strat that works so much better. Just hold M down. It literally does the exact same thing, and it's it's just much quicker. I don't know how I didn't think of that until 18 galaxies, which you. You normally in this challenge only need about. Uh, you normally need only like 30 galaxies in the vanilla version, but it's a little different here. And it looks like it's now starting to buy dimension boosts, unfortunately. So it looks like I, I can't use this, the same strategies as before, but. but it, it. Oh yeah, I'm just getting more galaxies. So maybe what I'm gonna do here, I'm, I'm going to. Um, work. I, I'm going to see if I can actually get the required amount of antimatter at this point. So I'm going to turn off the galaxy auto buyer, um, and hopefully. So the strategy here is to do seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I, I know it from the vanilla main, from from the main game, and it looks like it looks like I still need some more galaxies, which is really annoying because maybe. Is there any way I could do like um, something like 11 but set the bulk higher like 700 and still get these first few dimension boosts? No, doesn't, doesn't look like I still need to do this. Um, I mean actually, how about this? I would do, I could just do MD, MD, MD and it's almost as fast. Just, just two buttons to press. I can use both hands for. So, yeah. I'm, I'm literally just alternating between the two, and, it, and it's working pretty well. It's getting me gal it's getting me a bunch of galaxies, and I can, I can literally just keep doing this. So, I need... Let's see the goal again of this challenge. Um, the goal is FJQ. I think I got, like... In, like D something something. Like you can see, I think it goes up. Yeah, that was D D D E. So I'm slowly getting 
closer, but I still need a lot more than what I have already. So let's see how many galaxies we're up to. 91. So at this point, we need to start strategizing. Um, so yeah, we're 91 galaxies. We can't really get any more. So we need to do the 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh, it's still getting me, ga getting me galaxies. So maybe I, I, I should just keep doing this. Um, just except with the 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 at the end. Um... Um, yeah, it seems seems to be working. I'm, I don't, may not even need dimension boost after um, after just the last dimension shift. And let's just try at 100 galaxies to, for the like goal, because I, I sort of don't want to do this. And I okay, actually, I, I thought for a second that that I couldn't get any more galaxies at that point. So at this this point just just get a few more so seven six five four three two one we can't get there we're closer we're, oh there it is I must have gotten at like eight seven six five four three two one or something and boom challenge complete so let's see what the reward is all normal dimension multipliers become multiplier to um, race to the 1.05 which is pretty good however there is an even harder challenge in my way now. Infinity Challenge... Well, Vanilla Infinity Challenge 5. Infinity Challenge 4 is somewhat annoying. Infinity Challenge 5 is really annoying. And you'll see why next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.